Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You're gonna be pumped on that, right, Will? Computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What's up, people? My name is Jimmy Toe. I make internets about computers on the video. Or something like that. Weird things today. Uh, been meaning to get this for a while. I got these all the way from a viewer in China. Super cool guy, Dan. Thank you very much. And he provided these for me to have a little look after I did the old Windows uh, loading off, Windows XP loading off of an SD card on an old uh, IDE to SD card thingamabob. And he said you could do some cool stuff with these babies. And hey, check them out. There's uh, a four SD card. We got some uh, nice SanDisk Ultras. He provided those as well. And uh, they're 80 megabyte a second altogether. And uh, it's hard to get them out of there. Hard to. Uh, it's hard to get it. Who cares? We'll leave with this. Whatever. Anyways, there's four of them in there. And then there's two compact flash in here. Pretty cool. And then we got a test bench with a phenom old system just because that's whatever. And in my last video where I had a look at the uh, a, NVIDIA uh, 7950 GX2, which is up here, uh, I actually used the, uh, this as a Windows 7 boot drive to do my testing. And it's not so bad. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out why these things exist. I don't really have a good answer for why they exist. Maybe at a time before uh, SSDs were cheap, maybe you could get your hands on some SD cards cheap and make this as a better option. Or maybe they just exist because they can exist. I don't know. I get why you'd put uh, them to IDE with like this so you can use retro stuff and put uh, newer medium and copy files really easy. This thing, it's not that, that's not the reason, in fact, it makes their own file system. It actually uses like sort of RAID. Can you actually call it RAID though? Well, let's let's see. Um, we're gonna hook that back up on the test bench and do some real world testing in just a second. But uh, here, let's see what Wikipedia has to say about RAID. Well, it's a redundant array of independent disks. I guess that's sort of what this is. The redundant part, meh. But if you look down a little bit lower, it says uh, there's a combines multiple physical disks and components to provide a logical units and purposes of data redundancy, performance improvement, or both. And maybe you could get some performance improvement over the 80 megabytes a second uh, right on these. I'm I'm not sure. Probably not though. Probably doesn't make it any faster. Uh, maybe over SATA interface. I don't know, but. It's a RAID disk, I guess, by definition. It's a bunch of disks put together to make, you know, a single disk. Pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and hook this up on the test bench. Then we'll run some uh, real world testing running off of a Samsung Evo uh, as a boot drive. And then maybe near the end of the video, I'll show you how fast Windows 7 boots off of this and can actually run a game that's stored on it. Uh, and we'll get into some conclusions. So I'll go ahead and I'll hook it up with the Windows uh, 7 or Windows 10, I should say. Get these all hooked up and we'll do some real world testing right after I snap my fingers. Okay, we've got Windows uploaded to do a little bit of real world testing. I've got some, uh, some of my video capture files here ready to copy over. We'll start off with the uh, SD RAID so we can get her going. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a copy over. And uh, yes, we want to provide administrative privileges. Sure. So jots up to 180 megabytes a second for just a split second, and then it bogs. And that's what I found is this drive is terribly inconsistent to both of these, where sometimes they work really well, other times uh, they slow down to a crawl, like under 10 megabytes a second, and then the speed will go back up. It all depends on the size of the files and what's what's happening. But you can tell these aren't very smart. We'll see with how expensive they are. They're, they're not very expensive. Uh, they, they just really can't compete with a proper, you know, it's not like there's a Fizen controller in there, you know, doing all the legwork, figuring out where to put the files. There's some rudimentary chip on the bottom of here. And uh, I'm sure in the same in the compact flash one that does some work. So we see uh, whew, it really bogged down there and it's not going back up. Uh, that's not good. So really slow here. Is it ever going to, oh, it's getting 10 megabytes. Uh, so it slows to like a crawl. And sometimes this doesn't happen. So it's kind of inconsistent as all hell. Well, I'll run crystal benchmark as well. Crystal disk mark. So um, now if I want to uh, maybe go and copy these over to um, uh, the Seagate two terabyte Barracuda that's in there, well, 
delete these files here uh, from a previous attempt. And we'll, we'll read off of that for uh, SD card disk now. Copy, let's see how fast it goes. So it's 100 megabytes a second and uh, 85 megabytes. And just near the end, I saw it was getting down into single digits again. So in short bursts, this, the drive's fast, but as soon as there's like a minimal caching situation on it, that as soon as that cache is reached, uh, it's, not, it's improperly handling the data, uh, which makes it not a very good drive to boot Windows off of, that's for sure, or really to store things or things and stuff. But in practice, it's not actually that bad. So let's go over to the uh, Compact Flash here, and we'll go back to my videos. We'll just grab a bunch of them here and copy them over onto the two double Compact Flash 64 gig and yeah, again, really fast, and then hits um, one megabyte a second. Um, and then, oh, we're going back up. See, now this this one's a little bit weird. It went really low, and then it just keeps going like this. So very inconsistent performance on these weird things. It seems like the Compact Flash one's actually running a little faster, which, in my experience, Compact Flash is supposed to be slower. I don't know if it's just that it's only two disks that it's working off of instead of four or whatever, and then let's read off of that. Uh, if we go back onto the, uh, we'll delete these, boof, and we'll copy them over, and we'll read off of the compact flash, and very fast, 136 megabytes a second, so it's going really fast. Now, Windows might be caching some of this stuff or something to make it uh, transfer you know, properly, but you know, it's actually working not so bad, except for the uh, SD card one, which, Again, terribly inconsistent. Sometimes it works great, other times not so much. Sometimes I boot Windows off of it and it's really fast, other times not so much. So I think it all depends on the state of Windows and the caching files and stuff like that. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm no drive expert as I've previously stated in my uh, in the stuff and the things. So we're gonna shut down this computer and then I'm gonna remove all the drives but the one that has Windows 7, the four uh, SD card RAID and uh, we'll boot off of that drive and load into Crisis and see how long it takes real quick. So we're on done here. We'll a boop, a boop, make it real fast here. Well, okay, so now um, just magic of editing. I have some stuff switched around. So now we can test out the four SD card loading Windows 7 as a boot drive and actually loading a game Crisis that's running on it. Uh, and I'll go ahead with the timer and we'll start, boop, open, and we'll see how long it takes to boot into Windows 7, and uh, we'll do a little speed along here, uh, assuming this all works. Uh, starting here, starting now. So apparently it had to do some disk checking so that's happened, you know, happens every second boot. That's fun. One minute and nine seconds. And we're in crisis. So it's not that bad. Uh, you know, if we load a game, load a game, load it. From the uh, 7950X GX2 review here, a little crisis, loading in progress. I noticed games took a while to load, especially considering these are pretty old games and that's sort of a solid state drive. It did take a little bit of time here and there, but it's the only game I loaded on the, uh, the card itself just to see how long it uh, took to boot into a game. And press any key to continue. Boom, we are, uh, pause. A minute and 50 before we were playing Crisis. So that's not bad at all. Oh man, look at those graphics. Look how high I'm, oh yeah, boop, 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 boop. Anyways, so not bad, I guess. You could kind of use this as a Windows drive, with le you know, less than inconsistencies, but I don't know how old those SD cards or how well used they are, or how long, you know, they'd even last uh, in that thing before something would go wrong, I assume at some point. So how much are these things and uh, what, what's going on with them? Uh, we'll do some benchmarks real quick with Crystal Benchmark. So that's the four uh, SD card to SATA adapter and its speeds. And 
they're pretty bad. We have a sequential writes or read speed of 65 megabytes a second and a write of only 17. So there's obviously some sort of caching issue there. It should not be that low, especially considering the compact flash is much more impressive at an almost 100 megabytes a second uh, read and 63 megabyte write on the sequential Q32 T1 testing uh, crystal benchmark. And then if you want to uh, check out the, the top left is the SD card and you can compare it to uh, the two terabyte C8 Barracuda. It is a hundred megabytes a second slower than a uh, modern, you know, uh, two terabyte mechanical hard drive. And uh, it is 140 megabytes a second slower than a proper Samsung SSD. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty good with the compact flash. It's only 60 megabytes a second slower than a prop, you know, regular old Seagate Barracuda. And uh, yeah, it's not, opti not optimal, not ideal speeds. That is for sure. So how much are these things just in case you wanted to buy them? Well, like 20 bucks, 22.75. I found a bunch of them on Amazon, but they're like from Chinese sellers and stuff like that. So uh, I, like, I can't attest to this being the exact same thing kind of looks similar, right? But yeah, you put a bunch of SD cards in it and it's, yeah, it's 22.75, that's not so bad. And then the compact flash versions, like 20 bucks, 19.48. And uh, you know, there are other versions of it here, uh, but uh, that's an IDE version. That's uh, the same thing as this that I got, but with a SATA header on it. And then, uh, yeah, so 20 bucks. And then there are some other weird ones here, like this uh, micro SD card of uh, raid card thing that uh would it be interesting to test i think i saw linus test with one of these once um but you know whatever and then there's uh this one that's got holy geez 10 of them on there so <laughs> i wonder how that would work out be fun to play with those so yeah um the, just some weird hardware that uh i really like to just mess around with weird stuff like this i think it's really fun turn system off there you go. But that is, has been a quick little mini review and the I don't know why you'd use them for SD card to SATA RAID card to compact flash to SATA RAID card and some performance data that kind of shows these are not even on par with a modern, you know, uh, mechanical drive. So it makes way more sense at how cheap a one terabyte Seagate Barracuda is these days, less than I'd say 80 bucks. Uh, to just go with that rather than $20 worth of, uh, let's say this was the faster one, uh, compact flash cards are getting expensive. Well, this thing was just really slow. And by the time you buy, like, maybe these are 10 bucks each, you got $40 plus $20, you're at 60 bucks for this thing. And, uh, it's just a novelty as far as I'm concerned. So I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. I have a Patreon uh, if you would help donate there as well as if you have some weird old hardware you'd love to see on the channel, then you could also uh, email me at timmyjoe.com and I'd gladly accept donations for weird, you know, odd wear hardware, old weird video cards, stuff like that. Dual video card solutions, like literally two video cards in one or, you know, uh, it's just cool stuff. But uh, thanks very much for watching my video. And uh, yeah, my final opinion on the these things is they don't make sense. I don't know why they exist, but I'm glad they exist because they're just cool hardware to look at, you know? Weird SD cards to SATA. Who'd have thunk it? I'll see you guys in another video. Have a good day.